Welcome to my channel. The last lecture, I teach one theorem related to infinite series. One more, I will explain, uh, explain that statement. If summation a n, I mean infinite series a n, infinite series a n is converges. Then limit a n equal to zero. This is the last lecture I taught. In this lecture, I will say this converse point. Can you say? Can you think about if limit a n equal to zero? This implies the corresponding infinite series is converges. Is it possible? We can say no. So uh, uh, we can take uh, one of the example. So an summation an equal to. 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4. A2 is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. A3 is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 4. Plus etc. 1 by 2 power i plus 1 by 2 power i plus etc. 1 by 2 power i. So, i the term is... 1 by 2 power i plus 1 by 2 power i plus etc. 1 by 2 power i. 2i times. So, i the term as i tends to infinity. 1 by 2i converges to 0. This term converges to 0. So, all terms converges to 0. So, ai converges to 0. i tends to infinity. But you think about summation. Summation a n equal to 1 plus half plus half. That also 1 plus 1. Next to them also 1. Continue. So that is equal to infinity. So we can't, we can't say limit a n equal to 0. But that series, infinite series is, we can't say that infinite series is convergent. That infinite series can be divergent also. That means uh, limit a n not equal to 0, summation a n diverges. This is the, uh, that theorem's converse part. One more I will explain. That theorem says that uh, summation a n converges, then limit a n equal to 0. This converse is limit a n not equal to 0. This implies infinite series is not convergent. That means infinite series is divergent. Okay? 